Hello, it's Kernotex here with an addendum to the Linux from Scratch video that I did a few weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, when I was doing that video, I omitted a configuration that would have suppressed kernel messages appearing on the console. So this video is just to uh, show you what setting I missed out and to add it in to suppress those kernel messages. So what I'll do to start off with is to boot the Linux from scratch virtual machine that I used in that video. And you can see here these messages appearing in between the startup scripts, the boot scripts. So they're the messages that uh, I'm going to show you how to suppress. So for login, first of all, is the root. In fact, I can demonstrate how they the, these kernel messages can appear at any time. Um, by if I, for example, turn off the swap devices and then turn them on again, the very act of turning on the swap devices will issue a kernel message, and there it is has appeared. So I could have been doing something and a, you know that kernel message could have appeared in the middle of whatever I was doing, editing a document or something and it, it could have um, you know, caused some, some sort of confusion. Now um, can actually turn these off on a per session basis using the command D message which is usually used to print out the current kernel log but by using the N switch and specifying a, a log level, you can uh, configure it for, for the current session. So by default, the kernel logging is set to 7, which is basically print out almost everything. Setting it to 3 means only printing messages to the console if they're of high importance, that would be urgency, emergen sorry, emergency critical messages that are so important to the system that, that they cannot be ignored. So if I set that to 3 now, turn off the swap and turn it on again, you can see the message has not uh, come up from the kernel. But as I say, this is only on a sessions basis, so if I rebooted now, I'd be seeing all these kernel messages. So if I actually turn this back to level 7, before I reboot to prove that it is a permanent setting and just check that it is printing up the messages still, which it is. If I now change the setting that I missed in the previous videos, uh, sysconfig console. So that's the configuration file that I want to edit and I'm going to use Vi, which we compiled and installed in forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash console and press enter. So what I should do is move the cursor to that first blank line, press I for insert and press enter to create a new blank line. And the command or the configuration that I want to enter here is log level in capitals equals quotes 3 and then press escape colon and X to save and exit that file so now when I reboot it will see that log level equals 3 and it will automatically reset every time I boot to log level 3 and I'll just check once more that we've still got the kernel messages on, yet we have. So now I'll reboot to activate that change. Usually the startup scripts have a start, stop and restart option, but this console one, because it's only needed at startup and never needs to be run again, there is no option for that, so it has to be a reboot to to activate that new setting. So straight away you should be able to see that all the boot scripts have run with no kernel messages interrupting them. They're all looks quite a nice neat boot up screen. 
So if I now log in as root again and uh, do a swap off command again, swap off all the swap devices and then swap them on. Again, again you can see because those that, that log level has been set to three, there's no kernel messages appearing. If you want to refer to the manual, the Linux from scratch manual, uh, to read about this, the section you want to look at, the subsection is 7.6.5 and it's titled Configuring the Linux Console. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.